Hey everyone, it's Becky. Hope you all are doing well. I will apologize. I am feeling a little unwell right now, but I am going to be going out of town to back home to visit family um, next week. So I wanted to get out a couple of videos. So just bear with me. But today I wanted to kind of do a little tutorial kind of on how to upload things to Mod.io. Whenever I look around on Mod.io, sometimes I see things that probably aren't perfect and they might actually discourage people from downloading your properties. So I just wanted to do a little tutorial to maybe help some people out who are looking for this. So this is my tiny English cottage. I'm going to be posting this video right after I film this one just because I like to have it on Mod.io so I can have it linked in the video. But we are going to use this one for our example today. So first of all, um, we are going to go into edit mode on our property. Once you have it all ready to go, all of your details perfect and everything, you're ready for everyone to see it. So first of all, I'm going to zoom in outside and go where I want them to spawn into the game. So you're going to go into edit land borders and it looks like I don't have it set here. So you are going to press Q where you want them to be. So I'm just gonna plop myself down into the ground and I want them to start right at the end here. So uh, there we go, it made my little person here. So you're gonna start off right here facing the house. You can walk up the walkway. I've always seen um, multiple <laughs> properties all the time where you're gonna, like spawn in in this little corner or something or you're like falling into the ground. That is a never a good first impression. So make sure you start a good player starting position. I recommend like if you have a little driveway or something, just out in the front so you can see the front of the house looking all pretty. Next, you press tab and then you go into property settings to make sure all of this is looking the way you want it to. So this is not a job, this is just a house. So I have house selected. If you have dirt and trash and different surface finishings you want people to do, then you're going to select job for people. And then just your preference if you want time flow to happen while they are playing through your job or looking through your house. I think it's nice. And then starting hour, I don't think it matters too much for me for this house. So I'll just keep it set at 2 p.m. Nice, bright, sunny afternoon to start off. I'm just gonna call this my tiny English cottage. And then you can write up a small description for your house as well in right here. So I just said, welcome to my tiny English cottage set in the wooded countryside. Short and sweet, so you don't need anything too big. And then I'm going to save that. And then I already went through and took some pictures. These are to have like in-game after they download it. A lot of times people don't take these pictures, so sometimes it doesn't actually look like how it did in Mod.io. And it can be hard to figure out what house you actually had downloaded in Mod.io because the description or the name is not the same and the pictures are not good pictures, so you don't know what you had downloaded and where is it. My pictures have been glitched for a while, so it's hard to take them. I just try and zoom out a lot so I can hopefully get the picture in good. And then I just have to go in and check. So I just took one from the outside, in the living room, in the kitchen. And then I think I took one upstairs here as well. So then you can go back into your projects and make sure it looks okay. Tiny English cottage, my little description. And then my little pictures here so everyone knows that this is the same house I downloaded. It's super easy to find. So it all looks good to me, I think. So I'm going to go back into edit property. Then I'm going to go back into property settings and I'm going to export as mod. I don't ever do this one. I just think it's better to hit this and have upload a zip file onto my computer. So it will show up like this, house zipper two, tiny English cottage zip file. And then I am here in Mod.io, you go to add community content, and then you are going to fill in all the basics for your property, make it similar to what you did in game. So it is similar and people know how to find it. I have my own little like file here. This is my house slipper two showcase pictures. So I have my English cottage file here and have all the photos saved. So it's pretty easy for me to pick out what I am doing here. I'm just gonna use this same picture right here for the um, picture that they see in the feed. So that looks good to me. That is the logo. Okay, so I filled in all my basic information. I've got the name, the logo, a summary, and the description. 
And then tags. These are important. People will get mad at you if you do not tag things correctly. So this is strictly a home, not a job. So I am only going to like select player's property. If you have the job aspects, surface miniatures, dirt, all that good stuff, you will select custom job as well. But if you don't have any of that, please do not hit custom job or else you will get down votes and all that good stuff. If it is a job, hit job. If it is just a property, only hit property. <laughs> so then I can hit create property. So then you are onto the next screen um, adding your media so I suggest having at least like a few pictures so they can look through it and see if it's something they're interested in oh, let's go back for a second I'm um, in the description if you did make it a job I would just um, walk through the job a little bit tell them what to expect in it just so they know if it's like a bigger job smaller job I think it's just helpful for people that are looking for a job just to know a little bit about it but now i'm just going to go through and upload my pictures that i want people to see so these are the pictures i have selected for my little gallery here i took these pictures in game and then i um added them to like my private discord and then added them like into my video and then i um take them from my video and <laughs> save them back to my computer quick tip when you take the pictures in the game make sure you press h so that the user interface is not there and you just have a clean picture there with no clutter on it then just make sure your favorite ones are there in the front so that people get to see those first i think that looks pretty cute and then if you have a youtube video then you can add that in and it'll go on the end of it i have to do that after i upload the youtube video but yeah you can save in next oh my goodness why i don't like how it does that sometimes like i upload like six or seven and then i upload you know five or six more so it's not 10 at once like it yells at you so I'm just going to delete these last two right now and then add them in after it um, uploads. Kind of annoying how it does that. Oh my gosh, it's still being mean to me. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Thank you. So step three is where you go back into your zip file and then you just kind of drag it on in there and then hit agree. Um, I don't do anything with this right now. If you add any changes and have to re-upload a new zip file, that is when you'll say it's a new version and then say what you did to change it. This last one I don't do anything with. Um, I don't really know why it's a thing, but you can like select other properties you have uploaded on Mod.io and make them have to download those in order to um, download this one. I don't think you should have to do that, so I don't do it. But anyways, now my community content is visible. It is public and you can always hide it or disable it if you don't want people to see it for some reason right now. Let me go back into the media quick and try and re-upload those other two pictures that I had to get rid of. Okay, let's see if that worked. And then you can go on into your creator profile and see if it is there. There it is at the end. And everything looks good to me. All my pictures are here, I hope. Yep, so super cute everything looks good only player properties tagged all that good stuff i always give my own a like no shame in that <laughs> but yeah anyway so that is how to upload to mod.io i hope this was helpful for some people let me know if you have any additional questions so thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you later bye